Leia here from LeiaForSci.com and in this video I'll show you a quick trick from converting a molecule in Newman projection to the bond line notation. On exams you need to be able to convert from a Newman projection to a bond line notation quickly and trying to do this with a model kit will only cause confusion and waste time. Instead, just understand how to look at the molecule and then use my trick to quickly convert your structure. We'll start with the forward carbon and you have the option of flipping it so the forward or the green carbon goes to the left and the rear or the purple carbon goes to the right or the other way around. Both options are correct so just pick one method and stick with it. I'm going to take the green carbon and move it towards the left. That means when I'm looking head on at the Newman projection, whatever I see to my right is going to be coming up and out of the page. Whatever I see to my left is going to be going into the page and whatever I see going right down the middle is going to stay in the plane of the page. So we'll start with a line that represents the bond between the forward carbon green which we'll put on the left and the rear carbon purple which we'll put on the right. Now we'll cut the Newman projection in half. Anything below this red line is going to be going downward. Anything above the red line is going upward. On the forward carbon, I have a bromine atom in the plane of the page going down. I can draw it like this, or we'll make it look a little pretty by angling it outward, and we'll add a bromine. On the rear carbon, we have a methyl group in the plane, because it's in the center, and that's going up, so we'll draw the CH3 over here. The next trick is to figure out where the other components go. Because we tilted this molecule to the left, anything on the right side is going to be a wedge, and anything on the left side will be dashes. Once again, right side is a wedge and left side is dashes. On the green carbon, going up I have a methyl group on a wedge and hydrogen on dashes. On the rear carbon I have hydrogen on a wedge and chlorine on dashes. Now it doesn't matter with the dashes and wedges which is to the right and which is to the left because in reality it's one behind the other but because we can't draw it that way we draw it slightly offset in one direction or the other. Now I want to show you what happens if you want to draw the molecule in the opposite direction. Once again we start with that line but this time we're moving the green carbon to the right and the purple carbon to the left. Since we're moving the green carbon to the right, whatever is on the right side is going down and into the page. That means we're going to have the methyl on dashes and the hydrogen on dashes. And whatever we have on the left side is going to come forward and out of the page. That puts this hydrogen on a wedge and the chlorine on a wedge. In drawing this molecule, we'll start with green. We have bromine in the center going down, and that means on a line in the plane of the page we have bromine going down. We have methyl in the center going up, which means methyl also gets a line on the left side going up. Now we use the same trick for dashes and wedges. The green carbon has hydrogen going up on a wedge and methyl going up in dashes. And the purple carbon has chlorine coming down on a wedge and hydrogen going down in dashes. This trick only works if you really understand what's going on with Newman projections. If this is not a topic you're 100% confident with, go back to my Newman projection video series, which you can find on my website at layerforsci.com slash Newman projections, or simply visit my website and type Newman projections in the search. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for resources and information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, then I have a deal for you. A free copy of my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry. Use the link below or visit orgosecrets.com to grab your free copy. After downloading your free copy of my ebook, you'll begin receiving my exclusive email updates with cheat sheets, reaction guides, study tips, and so much more. You'll also be the first to know when I have a new video or live review coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your organic chemistry friends and classmates. I will be uploading many videos over the course of the semester, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now to be sure that you don't miss out.